It seems that many iPhone users have been suffering from their screen brightness constantly dimming for no apparent reason. And what's more, it seems to happen more on Apple's flagship phones, the Pro and Pro Max, more than it does on older models. In fact, it's resulted in many owners taking their phones back to Apple to get a replacement. The main issue isn't a software bug, nor is it a setting that needs to be changed. Instead, I think the problem stems from the phone simply getting too hot. I'm not gonna say overheating because I don't wanna get into trouble with Apple, but heat is a problem for all computers. You only need to speak to gamers to learn all about their overheating issues. And it's a problem with phones too. A computer's natural response when things get too hot is to slow down and eventually start failing. In order to prevent your phone from completely shutting down, the solution is to reduce heat. Of course, a desktop or laptop computer can do this by using fans, but a phone doesn't have this option, not unless you bought the Legion Dual 2, which comes with built-in fans. So one of the quickest ways for a phone to reduce heat is to dim the screen, and it's the reason why auto brightness is enabled by default. That's why if you live in sunny climates and do a lot of driving with the phone up on your dash, you'll notice that the screen starts to dim. It's the same if you take a lot of videos or play a lot of graphic intensive games, which both consume a lot of power, creating a lot of heat. To prevent your screen from dimming, you can go into settings, followed by accessibility, then display and text size, then down there at the bottom of the page, you'll find the option to disable auto brightness. Just be wary that this might reduce the lifespan of your battery and your screen. So a better option might be to reduce power consumption by turning off services that you're not using. Disabling Wi-Fi or Bluetooth wherever possible might help, and you can stop apps from refreshing in the background by opening settings, clicking on general, and clicking on background app refresh. If you can, I recommend keeping your phone out of direct sunlight as much as possible. And if none of these options work, then unfortunately I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Screen dimming is simply the result of a lot of power being packed into a very small device. If you missed my video on why some calls get silenced and go straight to voicemail, then you might be interested in watching this. So here's an interesting one. Apparently lots of people are having an issue where their iPhone is silencing incoming calls and diverting them straight to voicemail. Now your immediate thought is probably that the phone is set to do not disturb. And this is where you would usually go to silence your phone. However, if you're having this problem and you're confident all your do not disturb settings are disabled, then there are a few more options you can try. The first is to make sure you don't have call forwarding enabled and that silence unknown callers is also disabled. You can find both of these options by opening settings and scrolling down to phone. Call forwarding is there in the middle of the list and near the bottom of the page is the option to silence unknown callers. When this setting is enabled, any call from an unknown number will be diverted straight to voicemail. And I imagine it was introduced to discourage telemarketers and scammers. However, if you think you might receive legitimate unknown number calls, then it's probably worth keeping this option disabled. If that doesn't solve your issue, another place to look is in screen time settings. Back in settings, click on screen time and choose communication limits. If you have screen time enabled, it's possible to block some phone calls during both screen time and outside of it. To be sure you don't miss a call, you want to set both of these to everyone. So those are the less obvious places to look which might be causing incoming calls not to ring. If you're still having trouble, then of course the most obvious place to check is do not disturb, and you want this set to off as well as the scheduled option. And it's worth maybe just double checking that you don't have your volume turned down to zero. If none of these things work, then you're getting to the point where you might need to call Apple, which you can do by browsing to support.apple.com and clicking on get phone support. So that is fixing silent calls and brightness issues on your iPhone. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.